here with the GeneralSports.com Athlete of the Week, Jillian Rosenwasser of the riding team. Jillian, coming off an ODAC championship on Sunday, where you were also named the ODAC Rider of the Year. What does that recognition mean to you on a personal level? Oh, it's just an amazing feeling, and obviously I'm very lucky to have um, amazing teammates and amazing coaches that make you know a great day like that even better. And I didn't. Um, I was so focused on the day and the show that I kind of forgot about the option of those year-end awards. So it was just a really nice, a really nice surprise at the end of everything. So great feeling. So Sunday show, obviously some high drama towards the end. I had to go to the ride-off. For people that maybe don't know, what's that kind of tension and build up to a ride-off? It's obviously a slightly different than the regular format of a show. So first, I guess, kind of talk about what what the difference is for people that might not know. Yeah, so we didn't know that um, it was, you know, coming down to a ride-off because the riders, we don't, you know, tally up all the scores as we're going. So we were kind of just in suspense standing around for a while um, until, you know, the coaches finally made the announcement that us and Sweetbriar um, had tied. And so they took the, we were then told that they were going to take um, the top two scoring girls from each of those teams um, and then they give you a shortened course which you learn you know five minutes before you go into the into the ring and it you know they try and test you a little bit so they add some technical pieces to it and then it's kind of like a instant elimination I guess so the top scores from that you're the winners um, and so it was, it was a lot of stress, but I had my teammates came up to me and held my hand and they said, we need this win. And they pointed at the trophy and we all love a big shiny trophy. So uh, it was a good feeling. It was, it was stressful, but it was the good kind of stress. So then kind of getting to the end and, you know, eventually being named conference champions and getting the chance to share that with your team, what was that moment like? Oh, that was like... The icing on the cake of everything. I, you know, we'd already felt like we'd won when you have a good day and coming off of the regional win, we'd been having a great season and so we obviously wanted to win Odax, but we were gonna call it a win even if we had just ridden well and not, you know, come out with that first place. So it was kind of just the icing on the cake. It was, it was just an amazing feeling and now we go into zones and we're on a winning streak. So we're gonna try and keep it up. And obviously. When it comes to your performance, it's not only what you do, it's also what your horse does. So what is that relationship like between the two of you? And like, how does that kind of dictate your results? Because, you know, on any given show, things can go very different. Yeah, so the horse I rode was Stockholm, and uh, he's mine, and I've been riding him probably about nine months now. So we have a pretty good relationship, and his big thing, and what's, like you're saying, is incredibly helpful is that he is insanely consistent so I really went in that ring and because of him being so consistent I was able to focus on myself whereas with some other horses you know you might have a mistake that you felt like was the horse's mistake but with him I know if anything went wrong it was it was my mistake <laughs> and I I had done it so that's kind of a good a good feeling going in um, and he's he just wants to please and he knows what winning is and he wanted to do it and even um Sam Johnson rode Stockholm for the flat phase because we knew he was just the one that will get us all the points. So he's amazing. Obviously still a little bit of the season left. Zone's coming up this weekend. What's left to accomplish on both a personal and team level here the rest of the way? Yep, so we have um, from winning regionals, then we go on as an entire team to zones. So you get one person in each class. So I'll be jumping. Um, in that this weekend in North Carolina. Um, and then I think the top few teams from zones move on to nationals. So that's the real end goal right now. Um, I'm not going individually to zones. So all that I have left is riding really just for the team. So fingers crossed that everyone does great this weekend. I'm sure they will. And then we can go on to Harrisburg after that. Perfect. Jillian, thanks so much for joining us and best Thank of luck you. this weekend. Thank you so much.